Hello everyone and welcome back to another BeamNG Drive video. Well, today's video is actually going to be a BeamNG Drive plus automation video, because we're going to make a car in automation and put it in Beam. Now naturally, this video is designed for all of you that don't even know that that's possible, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do it and how you can make your own custom cars or just engines for some cars and put them in BeamNG, and of course drive them around and crash them if you'd like to do that. Now to do that, you're gonna need this bad boy right here, Automation, the car comp company tycoon game, so you're gonna need to have it installed and just run it. Now once the game loads, you can go straight into car designer and click here to make your new car model. Now when it comes to this video, I'm not really gonna go deep into the ins and outs of automation, I'm just gonna make a pretty quick car to show you how the stuff works in general. And I'll let you experiment with settings and all the other ins and outs later. Now the tooltips in automation are really great. So I'm gonna select, uh, let's go with this one. So uh, all of these in pretty much any section or in any process of making the car chassis or the engine, pretty much anything, you can click here to get tooltips, which are really nicely made generous, tool, generous tooltips. So make sure to use those if you don't understand what you, what each thing does. Uh, but for this video, I'm just going to make a quick car and export it so you can see how everything works. So we're going to go with steel panels here, space frame, uh, maybe not double wish bones, let's put these. Okay, and now we're gonna need to add an engine to this car. Now, naturally, you can build multiple engines and then like put them in multiple cars or have one car that has different that has different trims with uh, multiple kinds of engines. So you can definitely make different engines. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna edit that. For this one, uh, let's go with a I don't know V6 aluminum V6. 3.2 liters, maybe. Uh, something like that. Overhead cams, four valves per cylinder, and uh, cast iron head, because why not? Okay, not gonna use any balance shaft, uh, and we're gonna use crappy cast iron crank and Conrad's even. Uh, we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. Uh, now, one thing that is important is, is that you're gonna need a functional engine. So I'm just gonna guide you through those steps to make sure your engine actually works. Uh, I'm gonna put these heavy duties here. Uh, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna mess with this for now. Maybe later. Naturally aspirated. No turbos here. But we're gonna go with injection. Single point, uh, performance intakes. Uh, we'll see later how far we can wrap this this one. Uh, probably something like that. Okay, uh, we didn't get any errors or anything. Now uh, that's one thing why. I prefer to experiment with all this stuff later. Uh, so the couple of things that you can mess up in the in an engine pretty quickly and easily is to cause knocking uh, by putting, I mean, bad kinds of fuel and making your octane rating too high for the fuel, or you can rev your engine too high and then it's gonna like break and get well float and stuff like that. So watch out for these two things. So I'm gonna lower the reds on this because it has like pretty bad internals so that's why it's not really optimal and when it comes to the other stuff i still have some room uh, left in my octane rating so i could probably make a better engine uh, make it make more more horsepower and stuff so i'm just gonna uh, bump the compression up to do just that and that's it i'm not gonna waste a lot of time on it uh, you can do some testing here to see how that just sounds Okay, we're not gonna tune it a lot. That's enough for this video. And this is our body. Let's go with the coupe. 
red. Okay, guess it's gonna be red. Uh, now fixtures. I could probably spend an hour here adding different kinds of fixtures. Uh, basically, the way you add them is you just drag them on there. You can use all these gizmos to manipulate them in any way you want. Uh, it's actually pretty neat and pretty nicely done. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that here, so we're just gonna skip the drive train, make this guy a real real drive with manual five, four gears maybe. Uh, uh, five gears, maybe better. No LSD. Radials, mediums. Hmm. That's a maybe wide. I don't know. Should be fine. Okay. Give my boy some discs. There we go. Oh, and the tree. And uh, standard interior. That's okay. Hmm. Okay. Power steering, hydraulic, ABS. That's nice. Uh, let's go with these. And now here you can do a lot of suspension tuning and you have some presets here also. I'm naturally not gonna taper with that right now because it could make, could take a lot of time. And these charts, they're pretty nice to show you uh, some things that could go wrong in the handling. It doesn't always reflect directly in beam the way it's supposed to, not all the time. Often it does, but not always. Though this is a good guide that really can help you, can help you a lot. And uh, you have all of these stats to show you, like, uh, basically for what markets and uh, what demographics this car could be good uh, within the Tycoon game, because this is a ton tycoon game after all anyway when you're done with all the settings and uh, by the way you can always go back to any of these and edit them so don't worry about that uh, you have all the stats here for your car uh, you can change the name of your car here so let's name this one cgt test one uh, there we go uh, that way we're gonna be able to find it way easier uh, on our cost cars listing beam okay and now uh, we can just export it by clicking here okay and we're gonna export it to beam and g drive this is what we're gonna name it and click export There we go, no errors. And now we're done with the automation part. Okay, now once you load Beam after the expert, you can go straight to repository, to mods manager, and you should see your mod right here. And now let's try it out. So I've loaded a test map and my car is right here in my vehicles list. So let's spawn it and see what it looks like. Now, one thing about automation cars in Beam is that they really have no interior. I mean, you can put some interior uh, in automation itself, but it doesn't, it's not really usable in Beam and G, uh, at least not at the moment of this recording. So the cars do look nice, but there's no interior. And the uh, crashing is, I mean, kind of wacky in some places, but let's see how this bad boy drives. Well, it's really slow off the line, but it's got some power in the higher revs, that's something. And, uh, eh, kind of boaty in the corners. I mean, it's not really tuned or anything, but it does work. So we did get a fully functional car into beam and G drive that we made ourselves, which is actually pretty nice. And that's how you make cars in automation and export them to beam and G drive. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really want to go in depth when it comes to automation. I just wanted to show you guys that it's possible and how to do it. If you do want me to make an in-depth guide on automation or on either building the engines or building the car, cockpit, cockpit chassis and other parts, 
uh, feel free to leave that uh, in the comments below what you want me to do next and uh, I'll make it if you guys are interested. Uh, also if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out a lot and I really really appreciate it. So yeah that's gonna be all for me. Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I'll see you pretty soon. Bye bye!